So, so Duchenne muscular dystrophy is um, the most common childhood neuromuscular disorder that we um, deal with in clinic. It affects about one in five thousand live-born males, and um, those those kids um, would typically be referred to us at about the age of three to five when they're showing signs of uh, difficulties in in their gait, um, getting up off the floor, climbing stairs. Those types of things and then uh, this is a progressive um, muscular disorder so the kids get weaker over time and end up uh, losing independent ambulation anywhere between about 10 and 13 years and um, and then ultimately respiratory and cardiac issues uh, severe scoliosis are all kind of more end uh, stage um, complications that that compromise their their lifespan uh, so we we see those kids and follow them um, in a multidisciplinary neuromuscular clinic and that's really standard of care I think everywhere that, um, that, that we would have uh, people like geneticists, uh, respiratory therapists, orthopedic specialists, um, physio, occupational therapy, social work, nursing, all surrounding these uh, families you know as they as they work through you know what is um, a, a muscle disorder but has wide-ranging um, implications for their health and, and their life uh, in a broader sense. So most um, boys with Duchenne muscular dystrophy have a larger deletion or duplication uh, that, that causes DMD. Um, that makes up about 70-75% of the mutations. In, in the other 25%, uh, they have a small mutation um, and that could be uh, anything from uh, a few base pair deletion in the gene to something like uh, what we call a nonsense mutation where uh, the, the genetic uh, pattern has ended up creating a false uh, stop signal in the gene which um, uh, which ends up making the, the um, cell machinery just stop reading at that point uh, as it reads through the the messenger RNA so that's called a nonsense mutation that makes up about 13 uh, percent of the uh, boys who have uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy in general obviously most of the symptomatic care and, and general care for kids is the same but in recent years we've seen uh, evolution of, of, of gene-based uh, therapies that are trying to address specific mutational uh, um, aspects to the disease so things like exon skipping which are are built around the concept of skipping over these large deletions but also um, uh, nonsense mutation read-through uh, which is applicable for this um, smaller group, this 10 to 13 percent, who have um, who have a nonsense mutation, and and one of the drugs that's been in development over the last decade for for that condition uh, is adalorin.